good morning guys. Back out on go detecting, haven't been out for a while. Um, to be honest, it's been that long. I'll be happy with cork and ring pulls today. Um, sun is glorious, it's Father's Day. It's about 24, 25 degrees already, and it's only half nine. Um, <clears throat> out with the golden mask today, I've got the dace in the car. I've only got a couple of hours while the boys are at cricket before I have to get back to spend some time with my family. So I'm only going to uh, video the good signals once the dog so you can see the reveal okay here's the first signal so it's out in this pile somewhere I did say I'd be happy with ring pulls and things. So I've got to be happy just to be out detecting. <laughs> All right, hopefully I'll catch it something, something better later on. All right, next find, go and stuff today. Just a bullet cartridge. There's Pav, give him a wave, Pav. <laughs> Hot day, plenty of rests involved. Um, yep, see you on the next one. Right, Pat has just Doug, a George Halfpenny 1914, gorgeous patina on it, the reason I'm videoing it is it could be the only coin I see all day, so uh, well done Pat, <laughs> he's not too happy with it, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's a coin, alright, see you later on. Well, I'm back under the shade of the trees, it is an absolute belter out there, and just, uh, just about, last about 10 minutes out there. Well, nothing much coming up, although one lad's had a cannonball. I've had another bullet. That's about it for me. No real coins or buttons. I've got about an hour's left of searching, but... <sighs> you don't really want to step out the shadows. Everyone's inside the shadows. There's hardly any metal detectors out <laughs> in the sun. Right. <clears throat> Hopefully see you at some good finds. On the next. So, we're out here on this beautiful parkland um, with the northeast searchers, thanks to Davy for organising that newly fresh mown pasture land. It was recently cropped, so service finds should be uh, easier. Ring of trees, ring of trees, ring of trees, ring of trees, and you, all the de detectorists are around that tree there in the shade. You can hardly see anyone out in the sun, it is getting so hot. Um, I'm just in the shady bit, and I'm eventually going to walk down here back to the car which is the gate around there somewhere um, so if I don't find anything between now and then I will see you in the roundup now like I said only a couple of hours out today uh, I've got to get back to my family for Father's Day so it was just real quick whistle stop it's just great to be back out again uh, work's been busy I've had a lot of family commitments and I've been away on tour with the school to Barcelona oh that reminds me kids that went on to a couple of them subscribe and I promised I'd do them a shout out because they were absolutely fantastic and a credit to the Academy so well done kids and if you're watching it's a shout out from Mr. Fru. Um, I'm not going to stay out much longer it is just too hot literally the 20 minutes walk down there I can see people packing up now ready for lunch um, apart from the cannonball I don't think it's been much found which is a shame because it's beautiful old parkland dating back from the 1100s it's got got to be stuff here um, but just not finding it. I've been using the day yesterday on the ultimate program and my deep program. Uh, the headphones went a bit funny on the golden mask, so quickly changed that and went back on my trusty dais, which I'm enjoying using again. And uh, that guy there, I don't know if you can see him, that's Pat Law heading back to the car now, so I might just nip down for a quick chat, see if he's got anything with his CTX before we go. Okay, if I don't see you again before I get back, I will see you in the roundup. Happy hunting. Right, last decent signal. Nearly back at the house there, look, where the car is. I've got a signal in here. Come on, be something good. And I've lost the signal. Where is it? Can't see it. <laughs> 
Is that it? No, it's sheep poo. <laughs> sheep poo is not metal. I think there's a couple of signals in here. Whatever they are. Ah, ah. There you go. Big bullet cartridge. 2 2 bullet cartridge. Oh dear. Okay. Obviously, be shooting the rabbits. Right, like I say, I've only got about another 20 meters to go and then I'm done. So, again, I'll see you in the roundup if I don't see you later. Hi, guys, and welcome to the roundup after the dig with the Northeast Searchers up in Weirdale. Um, not the best of digs, only had a couple of hours and it was only 30 degree heat. Lots of like aluminium can tops and bits and bobs and scrap tin foil, bit of sheet of lead, square block of iron. Got the cork mainly with the golden mask because when I went on to the dais with the ultimate program I had the XY program on and uh, using that program the cork tends to be a vertical line. Well I only dug one bit of cork uh, with that program on that <clears throat> I just admit wasn't a vertical line but most of them were. A couple of hingy bits and buckles and square bits of metal and just rubbish random bits of lead and blobs well oh, that's not lead, I don't know what that is, some kind of rubbishy clasp or something, I don't know one shotty and then we've got one, two, three, four bullet cartridges and a two-two shiny new one, that's a surface find yeah. I am due a good find soon. But this is what metal detecting is about guys, you can't just go on and keep finding good stuff over and over again, you've got to dig the crud to find the good and by heck I'd certainly do that. Um, quick update on the giveaways, the caps and t-shirts are getting embroidered as we speak and they should be coming out in another video very shortly. So hopefully uh, I will see you very soon on the next dig and I hope you enjoyed watching Go Detecting despite not finding anything but that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, see you on the next one.